real quick. Now, for the front of the dog, on a palm, their ears are not supposed to be real prominent. Okay? They're supposed to be rounded, for one thing, not, not pointy. So what you do is you find the little ear, okay? Make sure you've got it all combed out and nice and neat in there, okay? Now you find the tip of the ear with your fingernail, all right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna snip it off pretty well flat, okay? You wanna do that with both ears. Comb it up, find your tip with your fingernail, just to be safe, then snip it straight off, okay? So then, what you do is you comb everything straight up. Give them a little afro, if you will. And it helps if your dog will lift their ears like that. And then what you can do is, you, if you can't get them to hold their ears straight out, then what you can do is just hold it there, just as a guideline for now. Take your thinning shears, go around and neaten everything to the edge of what you already trimmed on top there. You don't want it to be real square and, and funny looking, like just the scissors would have left it. Okay, same thing on this side. Come here, sweetie. Okay, get it up, round it into that that you've already trimmed on both edges, just like so, with your thinning shears usually. Okay, then you continue to do the same thing. You fluff it up, but now that you've got your ears trimmed, they can kind of you can kind of see where they are. I don't know if you can see that real well, but you can kind of tell where your line is. And so from there, what you do is you just go around with your thinning shears and just bring all the hair down to the level of the top of the ear. Try not to get my arm in the way there. Sorry about that. Like I said, it's kind of an odd angle for me. Okay. Just have to use my mirror. Okay, always taking time to re-fluff because you're going to miss stuff on a Pomeranian. It's just impossible not to. So you just re-fluff it out, come back around and do it again. <coughs> I usually have to do this several times to get things where I want them. It really helps to be able to get their ears up so you can see exactly what you're working with. Exactly what you're working with, huh, sweetheart? Now that you've got your ears, I could probably keep going and keep going and keep going, but for time's sake, you get the point by that. Um, what you do from there is basically um, the chest, or some people call it the bib. Um, what you do on that is a lot like what you do on the, the rear end, is you just you fluff everything, you make sure you got to comb through everything, a full, fully able to comb through everything, and then you fluff it all to a somewhat natural position, okay? Then you take, I like to use my thinning shears on this as opposed to just scissors because it leaves a more natural and less blunt look. And you just basically round it out and neaten it up, okay? Again, it's on a palm, you're pretty much always gonna have to re-fluff a couple times to get everything the way that you want it. Takes a few tries, huh, girl? Okay, so. Now 
that's about how how you do it. Oh, another thing I like to do, especially on palms like her who have a lot of facial hair, um, I take my scissors, not my clippers or anything, but um, my scissors, and I'll snip this hair off right in the corner of the eyes here. It just opens up the face real nicely, and it also keeps it clean for, for the owner because they collect a lot of debris right there. So, see how that, I don't know if you saw how it was sticking out before, but it sure helps to keep that clean and dry. Okay, now this, this is Little Miss Muff, or sorry, Taffy, all set. She's all done. Taffy! She says I'm beautiful. I'm a beautiful girl. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed.